You now have the option to load custom IRs into the new Boss GT1000. So let's have a look at how easy that is to do. The first thing you need to do is download the IR loader from the Roland website. It's a very simple little program that will allow you to choose four of your own IRs that you can use within the GT1000. So the first thing you need to do is just connect up the MIDI. So you're just gonna choose GT1000 for both MIDI in and out, okay? And here you can see there is your four slots that you're gonna be able to load up your IRs. So let's go ahead and do that. So this could come from anywhere on your computer. Let's just randomly choose one here. That's gonna load it in. Okay, so the next thing is you can choose where you want it to go. So there's the four custom slots. We'll just leave it in number one. So now we're gonna be able to access those four custom IRs either directly in the GT1000 hardware or we can use the Tone Studio. The process of finding those IRs within the GT1000 or in Tone Studio are both very, very similar. You're basically gonna scroll right to the end of the effects chain to the master block here. This is where you can access your various amps, mics, etc. Okay, if we go over to the speaker type, we first have all of the boss models and then at the bottom, you've got four custom IRs. It's as simple as that. Click on those and you now are using your own IRs. The last thing we want to do is take a look at accessing those IRs directly on the GT1000, which is very simple. All you gotta do is hit the effect button and you're gonna scroll all the way across to get to the master block. You're gonna page right. And then over here in the speaker type, if we scroll down, we can now access our custom IRs. It's as simple as that.